I'm feeling like a rock star. It's leaked just into the game, and his oh. first shot is a three, and that could be a great sign for the Toronto Raptors. Yeah, that's big because he's a three-point shooter. 353,000 babies are born in the world every day. And on May 20th, one of those babies was born to an NBA player in the middle of a historic playoff run. Monday morning, I thought I'd have a nice day off at home in Toronto. I got the call that uh, her water broke. It's been a uh, frantic week, but you know, that's, that's what makes all this stuff worth it. Fred Van Vliet already had a daughter at home, but what he didn't know at the time is how the arrival of Fred Jr. would impact his game. Up to that point in the postseason, he was in a slump, averaging just four points a game, shooting 26% from the field and only 20% from three. You guys know I've been struggling. Um, it's not rocket science. It's not, uh, I don't run from it. I don't hide from it. Like, I know I, I have to play better. In the playoff game since Fred Jr., his averages have ballooned to more than 14 points a game, shooting 54% from the field and 55% from three. Here is Van Bleep. There you go. Van Bleep. Yes. <laughs> I think he needed those get these days. Uh, I think he needed it. You know, welcome, you know, little Freddie, Freddie Jr. to the building. So um, I think those type of things kind of uh, kind of relax him a little bit. Obviously, he's got a lot going on, and somehow he, he has been, or he plays better on less sleep. So that's the formula? That's the key? Zero sleep? Hey, I days. guess. Zero sleep, have a lot of babies, and uh, go out there and let loose. The Raptors sorely needed secondary shooting support for Kyle Lowry and Kawhi Leonard, and they found it in a dad he wouldn't change a thing about the last couple of weeks. Well, maybe one thing. Don't have him during the playoffs. You know, <laughs> try to plan for like, you know, July or August or something like that. You know, just becoming a parent has been the greatest thing that's happened to me. And when I come home, they don't care about what happened. Especially the newborn definitely doesn't give a damn about anything <laughs> other than eating and sleeping and pooping. So. Um, Are you still not giving credit to Fred Jr.? <laughs> no, he gets no credit. I, I, I wish I could go back in time and, and not tell anyone that I, that I had a kid so I could get all the glory for turning around my performance. But, um, you know, it's, it's been great.